Okay, in order to build this bridge, we're going to cast the bridge mold four times. And after you cast them, kind of sort them into different piles so you got the same piece in each pile. Now, the thing I'm going to start with is the bridge walkway. This is what actually forms the floor of the bridge. It'll come in two separate pieces. And in order to fit it on the mold, I had to break it in half. So we need to glue these two together. The, I think the easiest way to do it is to get yourself a ruler or some kind of straight edge. With the ruler, what you can do is you can make sure that it goes from the beginning of the ruler to the eight inch mark because from edge to edge it's exactly eight inches the other thing you can do is take these uh, small one inch pieces that we have here uh, they're kind of thin but they're uh, one inch long and they're half inch high if you're going from the ruler from zero to eight inches it would be just about at the four inch mark on the ruler and we'll glue these together and we'll leave it set like that so I'm using of course Aline's tacky glue which I pretty much use for everything so I'm going to go ahead and put a good amount of glue on it there. And notice I have these texture side up. I'll probably do them all this way, texture side up. So get this, push them together so the glue kind of squeezes out a little bit. Make sure it's nice and flat on the ruler. And make sure this one inch, uh, as I push up on the ruler here, this one inch block kind of... Uh, uh, holds the right position so I know that every single one of these is kind of at the right level. Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to kind of shove it up here out of the way. I'll slide this down. I'll put another block here. I'll grab two more of these guys. And I am going to do the same thing. Now, while the floor of the bridge is drying, we're going to go ahead and glue together the arches. One thing you can do is to take uh, the little half-inch square block. Don't glue it, but just set it there. And when you have put this glue together... Uh, glue it together like that and then just um, let it sit there and then work onto the next one and glue all your arches. And once the arches are fairly well dry, we'll go ahead and assemble each side of the bridge. This is fairly simple to do. I'm going to slide the small arches out of the way, flip one of the big arches over, and that will form the large arch that goes under the bridge. This right here is going to be flipped so that it kind of goes like this and this one's going to be flipped so it kind of goes like this now these will go down in this position here and this position here leaving a hole here and here don't put it like that we don't want that uh, that would be for a higher different bridge so you're going to put it like here so you have a spot here and a spot here to fill those spots we're going to use a little half inch square we're going to glue it in there and we're going to use this half inch square to glue in here now you'll also see that we have got a couple of holes at the bottom and we're going to use the one and a half inch long blocks there now when you glue these in or put this in make sure that the scraped side or the smooth side is facing downward because if you glue it in like this and the smooth side is showing, that's not going to work very well for your bridge. So make sure that that's facing downward, smooth side facing downward. And we're going to go ahead and glue that together like that. Now another thing that's helpful, if you have Legos to help keep things straight, I've kind of put a piece together that I can kind of put on the inside. And I can, when I glue it, I can kind of make sure that this top edge is straight as well as the bottom edge with the ruler. And have dried completely the next step is to glue these scrape side to scrape side so all of these have the texture side up so I'm going to take this one this way and this one I'm going to turn around this way and you notice that when you turn it around it's going to alternate kind of the uh, kind of the brick texture that's on there so you want them alternated like that you can put them together this way uh, but I don't like that quite as well when they're all lined up uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue them scraped side, smooth scrape side against uh, smooth scrape side. Now one thing you want to notice, you might notice that on these there's a little bit of a ridge going around the edge here. Uh, a lot of times when you scrape the mold, sometimes uh, this will kind of be concaved a little bit and kind of dip in. In that case, if you put a bead of glue in the middle, it won't really stick very well. So I'm going to put glue, but I'm going to spread it around to the outside edges. Let me show you how I'm going to do this. Get our Aline's Tacky Glue, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put a pretty good bead across the middle of it here. And then I'm going to kind of scrape it along the edge. 
So you want a good bit of glue and when I scrape my finger kind of across the edge like this, what it's going to do is it's going to put a bead of glue along there. So you can look at this piece right here and you can see that I've got kind of a bead of glue on that edge and a bead of glue on that edge. And so we're going to put them scrape side to scrape side. So I'm just going to set it down here on the, uh, on the uh, tabletop and try to get them lined up kind of nice and they look like they fit together pretty, pretty well. And we're going to do this for the other pair as well. Now, once these two individual pieces are dry, if you put them together, you might notice a little bit of a gap between them. I'm going to set them right next to each other, and in the camera, you see kind of a, a little bit more of a gap down the middle than probably there should be. That's due to the nature of the uh, uh, textured edges that are on each side and how the mold was scraped. So, uh, if it Chances are it may not even bother you, but it bothers me a little. So I'm going to try to fix it here. Uh, what I've done is I've uh, taped a piece of uh, sandpaper to the table. And what we're going to do is just take this and just very gently uh, sand, sand it back and forth a little bit on the sandpaper. And then when you get done with that, these will actually fit together uh, a, a lot closer and a lot easier. Uh, and once you paint it, you probably aren't even going to notice the, uh, the gap at all there. Now the next step will be to glue the rails on the top. Now you're going to have uh, uh, four of these one inch rail pieces, you're going to have two of these half inch rail pieces, and you're going to need two posts in order to do this. So what I'm going to do is just dry fit this together. We're going to start with one of the half inch pieces and I'm going to center it. Uh, not all the way back, not all the way to the front, but we're just going to put it in the center. Then we're going to use one of these one inch pieces and we're going to put it in the center. Then we're going to put one of the posts in. Then we're going to put two of the one inch pieces. We got one here and we got one here. And then we're going to put another post. And then we're going to have another one inch piece. Now when you go to fit the very last piece on here, this one's going to be just a little bit tight. See, I can almost squeeze it in there. It'll almost go in, but not quite. So what I'm going to do is use a piece of sandpaper, and I'm going to sand it down. Now, to get it to sand even, it's probably good that you uh, just pick a side to sand from, and just take the piece on a piece of sandpaper, and what I'm going to do is just I'm going to sand it a little bit, and then I'm going to spin the piece around, and I'm going to sand it just a little bit again. Ah, look at that. See, that fits pretty good. It's still a little tight. I should take a little more off, but that's actually going to fit pretty good. Now, once you've glued the rail in place, go ahead and glue a little of these, uh, uh, these two separate little top caps on, on the ends, and that'll kind of even everything out across the top of the bridge. I noticed when I put it together, the floor of the bridge seems just a little bit low, or these edges seem a little bit high to me. Now, right now, it's touching the ground, so it goes straight against the ground, so you could like drive a cart over it, and it looks like it would work. But for my example, I kind of like the look a little better if the floor was raised up. I think it just has a little better look, and you can kind of see and compare what you think. What I'm going to do to raise the floor up a little is I'm going to use four of these little thin one inch pieces right here and I'm going to use four of these little uh, sort of half rounded pieces that I have here. So what I will do is I'm going to take this aside and I am going to put two of these together on one side and I'm going to put two of the one inch blocks together on the other side and I'm going to put them directly underneath on each side. Now I'm just going to see how this looks first before I glue them into place. So what I'm going to do here is put the one inch pieces on each side. Now you see we only raised it up a quarter of an inch there. So it's raised up about a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to put these two like right here on the end and I'm going to put these two on the other end. And then I'm going to put the oops, then I'm going to put the bridge back together. So if I put this side here, the top of the bridge comes right up to the rail. It brings it right up to the rail. And on this side, it brings it right up to the rail. And that's how it looks. Personally, I like that a little better. sides of the bridge are dry and you can stand them up we're going to finish with the final decoration and that's uh, putting these little stands on here and the little skull so you basically just glue the stand here and glue the skull on top of it 
and just kind of decide where you want it. I don't exactly put it directly under this right here. I think it sticks out. I tend to like it kind of moved over just a little bit where the bottom edge of this corner meets the bottom corner of the arch right there. That's where I kind of position them. But, you know, put them wherever you want. I think they add a little bit of nice decoration to the side. And I had room on the mold for some decoration, so I decided to add that to it. Uh, notice that I have not glued the bridge together at this point. The reason I haven't is because I want the floor of this to be darker than the rest of the walls. And it's easier to do that. If you glue it all together, then it's really hard to get the brush in to highlight this stuff without hitting the floor. If I leave it separate, I can more easily get these separate colors uh, without it being a problem.